right, guys. You can hear my shop noise running in there. I decided to step outside, get a little sun, and tell you guys about how I'm doing this thread milling. Um, and I'm going to put a screenshot as I read this off, because I'm terrible about doing such things, of Fusion 360 right here as I tell you about this. But um, my feed per tooth that I'm running on this, and feed per tooth is the chip load, it's the size, is this tool hooks through the metal, it's the size of the chip it's making. Um, if you were to measure it with a micrometer or something like that, you should be able to read it um, close to that. It would probably wouldn't be exact. I haven't actually done that yet, I should. Anyway, it was a half thou on that, and I'm running at 8,000 RPM, which is the lowest that that thing goes to. Um, so I always run it at the lowest, because that's going to, the higher you run it, the faster you got to push it through in order to keep that chip load. And if you go too low in your chip load, you'll just melt the metal and you'll rub a bunch. Not good. So I have that turned down as low as it goes. Then my, you need to go to the last tab, and I'll also put that uh, here too. I think it's the, it's the passes tab. So you, that's in, that's just the setup of the tool. But in the passes tab, and this is where you kind of get to the meat of thread milling, uh, which you probably know how to do your chip load and stuff like that if you're coming to this video because uh, you probably have done some machining before, like basic with, the, with an end mill. This is the stuff that's a little different that you need to know. By the way, there's a video from New York CNC you really need to watch before you watch my video. I'll put it right here. Anyway, pitch diameter offset, which is how much you're cutting into the, um, from the inside to the outside. So how much you're actually cutting into the material. I have at 0.086, and I'm running a, um, you have to figure this out by the difference between the major and the minor pitch diameter. Um, and then you should adjust a little bit for the fact that the thread mill is not completely pointed. And John Saunders talks about all this. He's got a calculator. He happened to be cutting the same thread that I cut. So I was able in with the same exact tool because I bought Lakeshore Carbide. So I was just able to grab his number and run with it. So I didn't have to figure out too much myself, but then I adjusted his numbers a little bit anyway. Um, I made it a little bit, a little bit less in there. Made it go in a little bit less deep, which made my thread a little tighter, which I just like. Um, so the pitch, the difference between those is 86 thou, so 0.086 inches. Um, and then I did it in six step overs, so it's going down, it's helicing up, right? That's what thread milling is. It goes down to the bottom and then it helix up and cuts it. And then I have it doing it to where it's coming out a little bit more each time. Does that make sense? So I'm doing it running multiple passes, essentially. Um, what this does is it keeps the chip load, uh, keeps it from having to cut it all in one pass. So it can run a lot more efficiently and you can there's still a little bit of chatter I haven't got rid of all the chatter um, but I've got it pretty close so I ran six step overs at uh, three and a half thou each um, I just changed that uh, initially I was running a little bit different I was running um, five step overs at uh, um, five thou each and I was just getting a lot of chatter on like the last pass so I decided to increase it a little bit um, the number and then decrease the size a little bit so yeah that's pretty much how I did that I'm really excited about this. Uh, my people that are, my fans that are watching this probably right now, know that I'm trying to become Iron Man. And I'm using this thing to build that. Um, so I'm actually gonna be building an Iron Man suit on this, and then all the machining will be on that, and then parts of it will be TIG welded together. But it's just so satisfying to cut those threads. They come out like a mirror finish. I knew when I was starting this, this fixture plate, and I had a lot of trouble with this fixture plate, that I wanted to thread mill it, and I ended up thread tapping to start with, and so the entire back three rows are um, maybe a little bit more than that. But the back rows, I thread tapped, just a couple of them, and ended up making all this mushrooming metal on both the bottom that I had to grind off, and then it also mushroomed into the top. And I went back and I cleaned that up, but it was causing it to where my countersinks didn't get in there, so I can't put pins in there, locking pins. Um, my plate is really thin, so the locking pins are not gonna work super well anyway. You would really be best, I think, to have a slightly thicker locking pin, but it'll work good to clamp like uh, vices and stuff to it. I just don't know, as locating pins, it might not work that well. Anyway, it's just so exciting. It's just so exciting to get, uh, to see it cutting like that is. I mean, it's just so cool. It's so cool, I love it. It's like the coolest thing ever. It just makes a mirror finish part on a thread. <laughs> It's like insane. I love it so much, and it, it got rid of most of the burr. I'm probably gonna go back with a uh, chamfer mill, chamfer tool rather, and uh, do like a really light skim pass of like, you know, maybe not even, I might not even touch it. I'll probably, I'm, I'll probably end up doing the same pass that I did before, um, which is like five thou. I'll do like a five thou chamfer on that. I may even do a little less. I might do like two or three thou, um, just to clean that up. Um, and then my threads are gonna fit in there just perfectly. It's very cool. It's very exciting. Um, this thing's got to run for six hours, though. Uh, you saw how big that plate is, and with six passes, it's taking a long time. So six hours after I stopped it, which made it a little bit longer. It was six hours before, and then it, it was six hours again, and it ran for like 
I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour or something like that. But around 10 tonight, I will show you the finished product. So for you guys, you guys don't have to wait very long. It's not gonna be that long at all. Here it is, guys, the final piece. Guys, here we are at the end. It's late at night, my light is over there. God, what a, just beautiful, beautiful threads. This thing is produced, it's covered in dust. I think tomorrow I'm gonna hit this with a, a light chamfer. I'm not gonna finish today, unfortunately, on this, but man, those threads just came out perfectly. I know I was showing you close-ups earlier, but they're just all perfect, all perfect. I cleaned it off for you guys. Um, I cleaned it off for you guys. It's a little cleaner now. It's still oily. I kinda wanna wipe it with a rag. I really wanna just pull this thing off and show you like the completed full version because it's just so lovely. My God. Those threads look so good. Like, the, the difference between here, let me see if I can see this. It's hard to see, you can't see it on the camera. Uh, you can kind of see it. Look at the difference between these threads back here that I hand tapped and these beautiful, shiny ones right here. You can see also right here, I did half, that's right there is where I stopped. Look at that. It's amazing. It's amazing the difference between those two. It's night and day. I love it so much. I just want to pull it off and show it to you guys and hold it up and touch it because it's so exciting. But today is my 420th episode of uh, making videos every day for a year on my journey to become Iron Man. And uh, I don't want to make a rash decision right now because I think I'm going to do a chamfer on this in the morning. Um, I think. I might not need it, but I think I want to do it anyway just to make it that much more perfect. And then I'll pull it off and I can start doing cam for Derek's suit, but, or suit. I have a suit. Derek has a fixture plate. It's just so lovely. Um, I'm glad you guys came here. If this is your first time here, I'm building an Iron Man suit, and I'm using this router um, and that welder. Bam. My finger was exactly on that. I'm getting good at pointing on the camera. After 420 days, you'd think so. It's just really cool. It's really cool. I'm really happy with it. I'm probably going to run a chamfer on it tomorrow and pull it off, and it'll be perfect in this. So I'm going to hold down my Iron Man pieces. Mostly flat stock aluminum, um, and I'm gonna build some vices for this thing eventually too to hold otter shapes and stuff. But it's so fucking cool. It worked really well too, and the tool looks like it's in really good shape. The only damage is from when I ran into that part yesterday from yesterday's video. Other than that, the video, the thing looks really good. So really, really happy all around. It's exciting. It's cool. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and go build yourself some own. Build your own thread mills, threaded threads with mills that are thread mills. Yes, all those things. All those things that I made, said that don't make any sense. I love you guys. Bye.